Hello, welcome back to X++ programming language and in this video we will talk about what is class and specifically in this video we will understand few terminologies regarding class. So without wasting time let's start. So to understand class you should have the primary knowledge of the definition of the class which we already discussed in our previous video that how you can create a class and uh, we should have understanding of the object so we'll talk about object in later point of uh, this video okay but primarily you have to understand what is a data attribute or data member or instance variable class very or class variable or field so interchangeably we can use all these things for uh, whatever the data attribute is this is the same as data member also we call it as a instance variable also class variable also we will understand about the methods one class can contain methods or the behavior so let's uh, try to understand what is class theoretically class so class is nothing but a software construct that defines the data and methods of the instances that are later constructed from that particular class so now the second point is that classes contains data methods that represent the state and the behavior of an object so this particular data will represent the state and the method will represent the behavior of an object so first we'll uh, see that what can be the data and what can be the method uh, of a particular class so here we will use our analogy and we will try to make you understand that what is data and what is um, actually method so in this slide you can see that we can have a furniture class we can create a class named furniture and for this furniture class there can be different types of furniture okay for example a furniture can be a mirror or a bed uh, or a chair okay or it can be a table so chair or table is nothing but a object of that furniture of this furniture class okay so if you'll create a class of furniture you can create the object of furniture class like chair can be a object table can be a object a bed can be a object likewise you can create the object of that furniture class I'll give one more example so it will be easier for you for example we can create a dog class and we can create the object like dog 1 dog 2 dog 3 so three different types of dog can be there okay so based on the specification um, you have to change the object now using this example we will talk about the data member and methods okay so for this particular dog this is a single dog or the object one you can say it and it can contain fields or data member or class member that it can have a breed it can have a size it can have a color or it can have age of this particular object or this particular dog object so these are nothing but the data member okay or we can create the instance variable with this particular fields or attribute okay now we'll try to understand the behavior of this particular object dog object for example it can have methods like it can eat it can uh, this particular dog can eat this particular dog can run it it can sleep so these are some uh, methods that this particular dog can have now we'll move to create creation of object so based based on the data member variable you can see that the breed of this particular dog is bulldog the size is large color light gray it can have the age five years and likewise breed can change size can change color can change object wise for each particular object this particular uh, member variable can change right or the class variable can change so for this third one you can see the breed is german shepherd and the size is large and color can be white and orange and age can be changed and 
um, also it can have the methods like eat run sleep and name like this so in case of uh, dog class you can create the data member and method uh, like this way but in a practical example i will also show you how you can create the member variable and methods but at this point of time we are trying to understand um, or we are trying to compare it with a real life so that it will be easier for you to understand what uh, does actually object means and method means in real life so likewise we can create a person class person and it can have the data member like name age city gender and it can have methods like uh, eat study sleep play and we can create the different object of this person class so this one is the object of person class this one also can be a object of the person class so name his name is john age can be 35 city delhi gender is male also for this lady the name is desi and age is 20 city pune gender is female so likewise we can compare a class and object with our real life so i hope now it's clear that a class is a software construct that defines data and methods so what is data and what is method i hope this is now clear uh, this data represents the state and the method represents the behavior of an object also in the third point you can see that class is an abstraction of object in the real world domain so when we create the object we are trying to um, hide the code so that other people cannot see the implementation of that particular class so that's why we can say a class is an abstraction of an object in the problem domain now we'll move to the next point that is the instances that are uh, constructed from the class are known as the instance or object so if someone will ask what is instance or what is object so you can say like this the instance that are constructed from a class are known as a instance or an, an object and i'll show you in practical example how you can create the object in the later point of this tutorial series now let's move to the next point uh, it is talking about the data represents the state of the object whereas the method represents the behavior of the object in this slide you can see that we have a real world uh, object so you can see this is a building this is an object this is a building or uh, this is an object if you want to create this kind of object you need to, to have the plan so you can say that class is nothing but a plan of the creation of a particular object so to create this particular object you need a plan so class is also nothing but a plan because we need to declare data and member variable or member variable or attributes or field and we have we also have to use the methods to create inside the uh, class so whenever we will create the object there should not have any problem so to create this particular building we need a engineering plan so likewise to create a class we should have the understanding and a plan what kind of data member and variable will be there or what kind of methodology it will provide okay i hope now it's clear